Hello there, Commanders, and welcome to another episode of Sun Tzu Podcast. This time we've gathered here to talk about feedback, our feedback uh, of the second Pioneer test. And to do that, together with me today are Foxy. Stop. George. Hello. Astolfo. Hello, beautiful people. And Shlomi. Shalom, boys and girls. Yes, so to start with, we're just going to quickly run down the patch notes and what they have actually changed. So the first major change is longer respawn time. And we've actually talked about in our podcast of feedback of the first test that we think there should be longer response. NCA either just listened to us or they have come to the same conclusion and done that. Now, each respawn time is longer by 10 seconds. And thanks to the patch notes, we know that it is based on the ranks, which I personally um, like as well. So, guys, what is your what are your thoughts about this change in particular? Well, one thing that comes up is it's still easier to sacrifice your units and respawn than to draw them out of a battle and replenish. And I think this kind of needs to be balanced out. Mm, anyone else? Yeah, I think I think it's a positive change. It's in the right direction, definitely. We can see that the the longer respawns is definitely required, in my opinion. Uh, otherwise, like they said, there's there's no downside to to dying apart from giving the enemy veterancy. Uh, but I think that it probably needs some more tweaking. But I I respect their efforts because obviously the only way you can properly get it bang on is by having people to actually play the game and test out what is consider the right level mm -hmm. and to yeah. correct you there guys um you actually not only give more xp to your enemies but usually you will also lose your own xp if you die so preserving your units is also quite important uh but yeah longer respawn times now are more punishing and i personally also am 100 percent behind that idea foxy um i like the idea as well like still improving the system basically because um sometimes it's just too easy to exploit the system how it is right now i think like a, a lock timer on your respawn would be nice if you only keep like one of your squads in the respawn square and you send the rest off to fight and die so that they don't respawn asap basically so you have to like a lockout timer because you're still standing in the in the um, um, what's it called? The, the replenishment zone, basically. Yeah, Um. what I think is that previously with quite short respawn times, what we've observed is that in many situations, uh, even if you consider all the, fac uh, all the factors like XP, you know, travel time back to the healing zone, if you were to actually disengage and try to survive, other than, um, I mean, as opposed to die and then respawn, uh, if you take all of that into consideration, now it is much a uh, better idea, or rather a better idea in many more situations to stay alive uh, than to die than it was before. And that is definitely a step in the right direction, and that change addresses the issue. And, well, maybe we'll see some further adjustments, but so far, um, you know, in the seven days of testing we had, I felt like the res respawn times well, just felt more or less right. So maybe some slight tweaks, but overall, um, they're in pretty good position right now. So anyone wants to add something or shall we I proceed? would like to comment on the replenishment zone a little bit as it's kind of related. Mm -hmm. As a slower infantry player, I would come into contact with defeating the player and him either respawning before I can get to the to flag to contest it or um, you know capture it. And it was very frustrating for an infantry player on, for example, Thermopylae to uh, you know defeat the opponent, and then before I can get and capture the flag, he's already respawned in my face because he had I don't know. Um, I noticed a lot of people would leave one unit back and send two into the pass, and they would respawn their other two units endlessly until you could just foot slog through them. 
but you would have to go back and replenish too. So it just turned into this weird stalemate where a player wasn't even using one of his units. And I'm like, well, that's not fun. Yes, true. But you need to be aware that by doing so, right, by keeping one unit back and just sending two forward, you are sacrificing a lot. So yes, you will respawn a little bit faster because it's just 10 seconds of healing and as soon as a unit dies, rather than wait until everything dies or just go there and fight and retreat and then heal. Um, yes, you're gaining that faster respawn, but then again, you're giving one unit up uh, on the front line and you're possibly giving away a lot of XP. And there are many, many factors that kind of balance that kind of game uh, play style. So I don't really have much issues with it. Um, but here we are talking about just the respawn time itself. There are other factors to balance in terms of respawning, such as placement of those respawn zones. Um, and on map like Thermopylae, they're actually very close to the capture point itself. So maybe if they were placed a little bit further away, that would also help that issue. Um, so yeah, there, there are many ways of balancing um, those problems other than just adjusting the spawn time. 